its elegant shape and elaborate engineering, a lot can go wrong with our spine. For many people, the root of their severe back pain is a spinal fracture. Generally, it's what we consider a compression fracture. If you think of maybe a, a piece of styrofoam and you press down on it, uh, that's what happens to the bone. Age takes a toll on your bones, making them weaker and more brittle, especially if you have osteoporosis. The effort it takes to keep your body erect can be enough to cause a fracture. And once they develop this fracture, it's difficult to do really simple daily activities. Um, it's difficult to get out of bed. It's difficult to get into bed. Uh, bathing is difficult. It's just difficult to move around. Um, because of the fracture. Women over 50 are at the greatest risk for spine fractures. By age 80, about 40% of them have experienced one, although men get them too. Many times they don't realize what happened and may mistake it for muscular pain. When someone walks in with uh, more of a, a common lower back pain, you might classify them as being sore. When someone who has a spinal fracture walks in, it's, they walk in um, obvious pain, uh, obvious difficulty standing, obvious difficulty sitting. Other symptoms are sudden onset, loss of height, or a noticeable curvature of the spine. Doctors can use x-ray or a CT scan to determine the severity and course of action. Fractures can heal on their own, but people may benefit from intervention. If the patient's quality of life is poor because of the pain associated with the fracture, there are different microsurgical minimally invasive ways that we can stabilize the spinal fracture. Keeping an eye on your bone health and taking back pain seriously can keep you upright and moving. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.